So you've probably clicked on this video because you want to know how exactly the Mallory Performance self-tune works. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you a step-by-step -step guide of how to use it. So inside the box, you receive the self-tune device itself, along with two cables, one which connects into the self-tune and connects into the OBD port, and the other cable which connects into the self-tune and your USB in your computer. You'll need to go to your car and find your OBD port, which is usually located underneath the steering wheel. Connect up the self-tune device, it will power up. You then need to turn your ignition on. You'll then get to this page. You need to select tune in, select the manufacturer of car you have and the model. Then select your engine type. It will come up with this message. You need to click yes. Confirm that your ignition is on and then just wait. This will be reading the stock file now and the stock file will be now loaded onto the self-tune. You can now remove the key and remove the self-tune and move on to the next step. Connect the self-tune up to your laptop or computer using the cable provided. Head onto the internet and go to shop.mallory-performance.com. Head straight to the self-tune page. Then scroll down, you'll see the link for download. Download the software onto your computer. Once the self-tune software has been downloaded onto your computer, click on download data, then start. Then you want to save the stock file to your desktop. Save it as stock file onto your desktop. Head back onto the self-tune upload page on our website. Fill in all your details. State which type of tune you'd like and then upload the stock file which you saved on your desktop earlier onto the website and click upload. Please allow up to 24 hours for a reply. Ideally you'd want to do this between the hours of 9 to 5, Monday to Friday to get a quick reply. You'll then receive an email back with a tune file, save that onto your desktop, open the self-tune program, click upload data, then browse and then click on the stage one tune. This will then write onto your self-tune. Once this is complete, you can then disconnect your self-tune and head back to your vehicle. Turn on the ignition and put in the self-tune into the OBD port. You then get to this screen, click on tune in. You get to this screen, click yes. Then you have the original file or the stage one tune. You wanna click on the stage one tune and next. It's now writing the stage one tune onto your car. Then once it's finished, you'll get to this screen, turn off the ignition and unplug the self-tune. It really is as simple as that. This Volkswagen Transporter now has a stage one tune on it and it can be reverted back to stock at any point with the self-tune. The self-tune does have the capability of holding multiple maps as well, including stage one, stage two, or even a pop and bang map as well. If you are interested for a self-tune for your car, then visit our online shop. If you don't see your car there, then just feel free to contact us and we'll be able to help you out as well.